<laughs> it's your boy DJ Boom chilling here with co-host Oscar and special guest Todd Davis. Howdy. So, um, I'm Brick. You just said that uh, you graduate in spring. Yeehaw. I'm ready. I'm so fucking excited and nervous. But yeah. Uh, uh, what's what's next? I well, I figured it out the other day for sure from doing all the the flyers and everything recently that I do want to do like art direction pretty bad, like um, because it's like since I know photography, and graphic design, I could probably visualize or conceptualize something very well to someone for, or in some certain way that they would need, because you know, still like logos, everything else kind of goes in the same direction. It's not trying to be like a freelance per se, but like that's more like. Like, I haven't had a real goal for that yet, so... Are you trying to be freelance, or are you trying to join... Uh, I don't mind freelance, but I would like to, you know, work for, like, some In-house. type of, like, design studio or something. Yeah. I think that is nice. Maybe hop around a bit, because um, there just are some really cool, random-ass companies that just... Like, let me see. I'm going to find one real quick. Cause Where are some a, places you're trying to go? So, hmm, that's hard. I really might stay in Miami for a bit, because, mm. don't get me wrong... No I place like, like home. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's a good corner, right? Um, I used to live in California, actually, when I was really young. I have cousins there and everything. Um, So I was kind of thinking over there, but I'm like, there's a lot of people already there. Um, And, like, between that, I was like, New York's not bad because I do have family. But, like, do I want to really live in New York? I don't know. Like, it's it's cool to visit. It's a little overwhelming. But, like, I could always just be like, hey, what's up? Rather than, you know, maybe not have to pay as much but still like i would still want to be you know on my own and stuff enough but uh what's rent look like in miami i can't give you an honest answer even though i did this shit for a project yesterday um it varies because there's so many apartment buildings that actually pop up um kind of on like the greater part um so like there's the little side part which is like all the famous shit so you know south beach and everything that's like kind of the edge of miami that's where like i grew up and now there's like three main bridges that go there um and basically, Greater Miami is like the other side. So from there, um, there's been always just a row up the fucking bay, just of like fucking building on top of building. And they're like absolute skyscrapers, almost like blocking the whole bay front from like one of the start of like the main bridges. And you could just see it go up like the whole coast. So like there's a lot ranging from almost every price, but it's just like depending on it's weird. Like up north is like not too bad but not like down south isn't bad either it's like a weird it's more like it's centralized just by where all the tourist shit is like you can kind of float around pretty comfortably there because like i mean uber uber pool is like three bucks you can get like around anywhere just with that and um they have like all the the like the e-scooters uber pool yeah uber pool and lift line so you can basically yeah yeah, in populated Uh, cities you can basically get an uber for like two or three dollars you just get with one random stranger or you can just add a dollar more for like one of your friends and that's it. It's like you got a Lyft ride. It's like yeah, Lyft. Lyft it's the same thing. same thing. Yeah, I don't fuck with Lyft. Hmm. So you got Uber? Yeah. You never seen Uber Pool? No. Really? Crazy. Crazy. Yeah. Wow. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's wild. I don't use Uber a lot though either. Like, yeah, but like it's accessible for like whatever like price range you're in which is kind of nice um and that's why i'm like oh that's not too bad um one of my good friends wants to like own a unit and lease out so i think i might like just because he's, hey, he's a good homie work. so i'm like that's not bad and my good friend is my landlord like i'll take that so yeah we'll see how that goes your good work, friend though. is your landlord no that would be ideal oh yeah no i'm still i'm still with the folks and everything I'm about to say, don't, don't put that out there oh no 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 everybody I mean, think you the meal ticket but still you know you know living expense yeah but we'll see, cause I'm not, I'm skeptical of him actually doing anything. You know, I gotta see it. That's why I'm like, you know. Yeah. But either way, for the most part, um, yeah. Uh, other than that, I'm kind of just floating between. I'm not too worried. I mean, this year is kind of for all that job stuff. Yeah. So, yeah, it's more like not location, but like really like where in that location, if that makes sense. Cause like I could still be in like other parts of Florida, which I'm kind of like mm, about, which isn't bad, but like. You know, do I want to like go to Atlanta or something? I don't know. Yeah. It's just like I feel like it's not bad to just like be still in the South, but still, I feel like if I stay there, I'm gonna like. You're gonna be there. For I'm it. gonna be there. I'm, <laughs> like, be I'm like that's going underwater. I need so is to. uh, is there anybody in the industry I guess that you look to as inspiration? Mm. Specific names. Damn. Um. 
I let me see. Okay, actually, there's this one dude who makes some very good, very good fonts. I'll actually shout him out real quick because I do like his stuff a lot. Um, his name is Sauce.Design on Instagram. Um, he made the typeface that I use for the global posters. Okay. Mm-hmm. So the yeah, so the main one, right? Um, it's called like a weight or something. I will give that out for like free because it is free and he, you should all get it. It's a great font. Um, but he just makes a lot of like posters and just overall like just fun shit that I just really enjoy because there's so much like variation and um, it's something that I really want to pull off more because I've kind of just been making like bodies of work and I'm like just trying to pump out more like cool random ideas a little bit more yeah. variety. So I'm like ready to just like see about stuff too you know because mm-hmm. there's there's a lot of things that i do see in design that i'm like oh these are all great shared aspects but the the variety that this dude has is super nice because um i found so many other like designers through that and just seeing kind of like the like i'm getting introduced to like the graphic community a little bit which is like nice so and i don't think i've really been online for a community in some sense like you know mm-hmm. beyond just like random groups but like genuinely like i'm like oh these guys make this and that and um don't you like that like it's different communities for different things you got the skateboard community yeah no i used to skate a lot actually it was a big okay. thing on the beach oh you know what i should have talked about this earlier i forgot about it um so my senior year of high school i will never stop talking about this um there's this race in the street called the south beach bomb it is eight miles it is up washington um loops back by the fountain blue and back so I did it for three years in a row, and my last year I was like, I'm going to place. And I skated eight miles in fucking 40 minutes. Mm. It was great. I fucking made it. I was in first for the first half, mm. and then eight as we miles. looped back, I started breathing through my fucking That's mouth. a lot. Yeah. yeah. Well, a mile, just walking a mile is fucking long time. Nah, it was like, a race in the street, and it was it's the coolest shit ever. So the first year, I twist my ankle. Yeah, the, the second, longboard? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm about to say, ain't no way skateboard. on a skateboard. Ain't no, no fucking way. You can still do the same shit. It don't matter. I don't think so. You got to test that, bro. I own, I own a skateboard, Word. so I know a longboard. I'm like, ain't no Yeah, way. yeah. But... It, it would just be an outlaw right race in the street. And um, basically, I remember in the beginning of the second one, I got seventh that time, but there wasn't like anything for it. And um, the very beginning, I totally hit like a pothole, did, like rolled perfectly and got back up. But I didn't realize I scraped my shoulder. So I remember when I finished, I leaned back and I was just against it. And I picked like myself up and I'll cling to the fucking wall. Mm-hmm. Yeah, generally was like, no, because it wasn't even like a bad spill. Oh. It was just like... We were just trying to like wind down, and I was there for like thirty minutes, just like trying to cool off in the fucking shade, and it was bad. But sorry for that. That was that was ah, just love, <laughs> just love. Skating. So uh, you've been doing a lot of posters for uh, hip hop reps, which is now mm-hmm. Control Alt. Yep. Shout out Simone. Um, is there a partnership there? Um, I mean, yeah, they're the, the homies. I mean, it's been really fun to do. Um, just like practicing like visual identity stuff with them. And it's like one of those things that I can definitely see myself doing sort of like on the side for events, whether it be big, small or just any type of themes. Cause like, um, you know, it's just nice for every, like almost like invitation to have its own little thing like here come mm. to this. And I'm just like, it's so, cause that's what inspired my, the one that I made for the, the presale. Right. Mm-hmm. I was just looking at like really old, like, like it would be like two colors. It'd be just literally like orange paper or like white or some shit, just as like one flat thing posted up on a wall. I was like, these look so nice. Like just, and it's one of those things. Like I really want to take, like, for this last project that I was doing, I really just want to take parts of like one small poster, whether it be like one aspect, right? And that's why I started doing the little bracket shape thing. I wanted to just kind of like put it like everywhere and just make. I would just have all these signs up and then make this body work for it. To kind of like explain it, even if you just see it from reoccurrence, I think it would be like nice. But you got stickers and stuff. Yeah, actually, I have some in my car. You want? You need mine to get a couple. Word. Actually, let me. It's right Good plug. Right here. Good plug. Oh yeah, I remember you was. Uh, I remember when you posted that. Yeah. Was um, that so I'm trying to make more stuff. I'm trying to shoot more people like this. Actually, I'm trying to make more photography slash graphic stuff and that. Um, but I thought it'd be like super cool to like practice, you know, just making things for other stuff. Like, cause that was something I wanted to push for myself that I could do on the side, but then I could just like, you know, practice like just flyers and stuff, you know, it just felt like nice to invite stuff or people to stuff, 
you know, yeah. and I wanted to put these out in the world and be like, oh, hey, it's like, what if it was just actually posted here? Now you know about this. Like, you know, don't get me wrong. Social media is great. You can see it in like two seconds. But like, you know, I missed back in the you day. You want some some tactile shit, you know, just to like feel it, feel it out and be like, now this thing like looks like it's going on. It's going to be this because like, don't get me wrong. Parties are good, but they're hit or miss. And I feel like the reason why everyone goes downtown is because they know what downtown looks like. But if you just say, oh, I'm going to a party, I was like, what is well, what's he what's here? Like, you know, what's yeah. what's the vibe, you know? Yeah. So poster sets the mood it sure. sets the mood and I, I was like yeah like that's a because it was like one of those things i was like i want to help in some way because i have been like i fucking hated the first two years here but a hundred percent last year was great this year is fantastic so you know the fact that i'm actually having like a good good exit i still want to give back in some way and i think it's nice because um because i just think it inspires like other people to make stuff and you know other posters but like it'd be so nice to just because like oh my bad um Shout out Dylan Graves, actually, because he was the dude that did all, all the like aesthetic show off the wave type like flyers. And I really liked what he was doing because I would just see these all the time. And that was the one main thing that I was like, I would I love. see what you're doing. I would yeah. love to do that. And um, I know he like he just like dipped with like all the DJs like Devin and all of them. Right. They're they're out. So we had to take over in some way. So, yeah, you know, someone's got to do it. Had to step up. Yeah. So, I mean, it felt right. And, you know, it'd be nice after I dip. I can just be like, oh, here. All the men Gentry been going crazy, too. Gentry's. Shout out Gentry. Yeah. Gentry. I mean, on a hot streak. Dude, I don't know how this dude is is even a person, honestly. (laughs) Seemed like he don't go to sleep. Exactly. Yeah. You know what? Yeah. This dude is, is fucking busting his ass for, like... For all this shit. It's crazy. He's plotting. He's plotting. Something's coming with Gentry. Something's, dude... This man, I don't know how he, he, the way this dude operates, but it works. And it's crazy. So any um, major projects coming up? Hmm. Yeah, not really. Just kind of chilling out right now. Um, oh, any you got done with? Well, yeah. oh yeah. You know what? You're right. You're right. I forgot about that. So uh, back in August, I fig- uh, finished my new body of work, Threshold. It was um, little bracket stuff that I was literally just putting up everywhere. Um because, again, like like I said before, I wanted to, like, build up this, like, one thing. Like, what is this? And it was one of those things that um, I really wanted you to kind of, like, double take at or something. So I, I basically spent, like, eight months figuring out, like, what I wanted to make. And, like, really the technique, like, the actual technique of, like, making the style was what I was, like, really stressing over. And then the content kind of just came out. But um, I have a little trailer up on my Instagram, Dietavis. Um, and... It basically it just has like a quick little preview of it and a nice little thing made by Sis the Artist. She's a fantastic editor. Um, and uh, between that, it's just kind of like, there are 10 sets of images, but it's like 30 if you want to think about it. But two of them are technically the same. It's just a detailed crop of the same thing. But what is actually in the content, you know, is for like the actual person, I mm-hmm. think, who is ever like reading it. Because it's, it's really just to um, see how someone thinks more than anything so it's kind of for me at the same time because like i think if i introduce you to this topic right i want to explain it but i think you should just just go in just experience it um because like making just making this whole thing that was kind of like about it was like therapeutic for me in some ways but like it's more about the person who's actually looking at it to tell me because um i don't want it to be like i have to really you know explain i just like what did you feel about this Mm-hmm. in this and how I think it's very universal but still like diverse enough for anyone to really pick up on and I, I think the, what it relates to reveals very nice things or very like interesting things about whatever person it is you know or who she me they you know etc you know it's it's weird but what was your inspiration for Threshold? Uh, I really don't know that's the thing like um, I just always like talking about private things in an open way, but it's not even like private in the sense of like super personal life, but more like the internals, you know? And, and I think being able to just like unpackage a person with each thing is like really nice. Cause it's like, you know, I don't think we give enough credit to like how connected we are in a lot of dumb ways. Like, you know, I think a lot of people try to distance or whatever aspects like they, you know, you got to have that persona, I guess, in some way that, you know, how you present yourself. And I think that's like, kind of like an ego thing, if that Mm. makes sense. So like, just being like, authentic, and like, really just like what it is like, just, 
you don't have to go into you don't you don't have to try too hard whatever kind of comes out is what it is and I, I that's what i'm fine with like you know whether you want to make it as detailed as, as like as hell or just like super simple that's that's all i kind of need because for me it's just presenting these ideas with something that can match it at least enough and i think the style that i'm doing i like it. i've been very satisfied with how it's been coming out because i worked like i worked it's pretty, very unique Thank you, because it took a lot of time to just like really feel out. And it was like the first time I was like, I'm trying to make versus like, like, oh, this is a cool thing. Let's make this. I was like, all right, let's start from scratch and like figure out how to build this. So um, came out August 17th. It's on my website, tydavis.onuniverse.com. Um, you can check it out there or you can look at the little video trailer. I'm trying to make a narration video for it soon because I think it would be very nice in video form. Mm -hmm. So. Or zine or something like that, but besides your um website, where can people follow you at on social media? You can follow me at duality D U A L I dot T Y. Okay. Yeah. You got multiple accounts though. Yeah. You know, we just gotta go searching. Well, I mean it's in my it's in my um It's in the bio. Is it the, the bio. duality one? Oh okay. Yeah. yeah, I think I was on another one. Yeah, that's my main. You know, you okay, got I was on the main one, yeah. Then. Well, no, either or. So, thanks for having me. Appreciate no, I appreciate it. you for coming down. No, um, it's been great. It was a great episode. Mm -hmm. uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, all that. Don't forget to go check out our man, Todd Davis. Follow Oscar. He'd be tripping if you don't. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't. <laughs> this is Fresh Start Radio. Um, stay tuned. <laughs>